Toyota is working on some next level technology that could change cars forever. It's all to do with solid state batteries. These are the holy grail for car makers because they could help make electric cars more fun to drive, charge faster and cost less to make. And Toyota is getting ready to sell a brand new car with these batteries as soon as 2025. But that's not all. Lexus is planning to use this technology in a replacement for the legendary LFA supercar. And that car will have a unique feature I have never seen before that could make it even better than the original LFA. Really? That car had an amazing V10. <laughs> Anyhow, how does all this new technology work and why is it so important? Let's get into this. Buy, sell, car, wow. Toyota has been building hybrid cars for years, but it didn't sell an electric car designed from the ground up to be an electric car until the BZ4X came out last year. What the heck took them so long? Well, Toyota is making up for lost time with a new solid state battery technology that could change the world of electric cars. Most EVs, from a Volkswagen ID3 to a Tesla Model S Plaid, come with lithium ion battery packs. And these all follow the same basic design. A bit like how all internal combustion engines work the same way, whether they're in a Dacia Duster or a Lamborghini Aventador. But solid state batteries could be game changing technology for electric cars. What are they though? And how could they make Toyota the king of next gen EVs? First, you need to know what's inside an electric car's battery. Normal lithium ion batteries are made from three basic components. There are contacts on each side of the battery called anodes and cathodes. These are wired up to the rest of the car's electrical system. In between these is a layer of gel or liquid called an electrolyte. Ions, which are charged particles, move through this fluid layer. This movement produces an electric current in all the electrical circuits that are attached to the battery. This technology has improved massively over the last few years, which is why electric cars keep getting faster and faster and their ranges keep improving. But these batteries, they're not perfect. They lose a little bit of their capacity each time you charge them. They can also get hot when you charge them quickly and they only deliver their peak power in a certain temperature window. This is why electric cars have special cooling systems for their batteries. And it's why the Tesla Model S and Model X plaids have to precondition their batteries before you can use their ludicrous plus mode for maximum launch. Solid state batteries, like the ones Toyota is developing, could fix these issues. So what's different about them? Well, as you can guess from the name, solid state batteries are solid inside. They don't have a liquid or gel layer inside their cells. This solid layer helps prevent overheating when you charge and discharge the battery. And it means you can use more powerful chargers to charge up your car faster than ever before. And electric motors are also able to pull more power out of them quicker without overheating the batteries, which can make the car accelerate more quickly without it suddenly bursting into flames. But that is not the best bit. Solid state batteries can store the same amount of energy as a normal battery, but in a smaller package. They're also lighter, which means they have a higher energy density. For example, the lithium ion batteries in a new Tesla Model 3 can store just under 300 watt hours per kilogram. But solid state batteries could store much more than that. In fact, one of Tesla's battery suppliers has just revealed a brand new battery that can store up to 500 watt hours of power per kilogram. This company is called CATL and it's one of the largest battery producers in the world. Its new battery is actually a semi-solid state battery because the electrolyte isn't a completely solid material, but it's much denser than the pure liquid filling inside most lithium ion batteries. And this development means future batteries with a completely solid state are set to be even lighter and smaller. And this means they could have an even higher energy density than the new CATL battery. Don't expect batteries like this to show up in a brand new Tesla though. It's more likely your first electric car with solid state batteries will come from Japan. Nissan is cooking up some very exciting things with electric and electrified cars at the moment. I'm not talking about a hybrid replacement for today's GTR, although I can't wait for that car to arrive. I'm actually talking about Nissan's plans to start building production cars with solid state batteries in 2028. David Moss, 
who's the senior vice president for Nissan's European research and development team, has huge plans for these batteries. He said Nissan aims to make solid state batteries with double the energy density of today's lithium ion cells. And it's also aiming for three times the charging speed. And best of all, they could cost 50% less than today's batteries. Now this is a win, win, win in my book. But Nissan isn't the only company committed to getting these batteries into production. Toyota is about to start building new EVs with these high technology cells even sooner than 2028. The company has been working on solid state battery technology since 2012. Toyota was also the first car maker to build a proper road registered car powered by solid state batteries. Okay, so this was an A production car. It's actually a version of the LQ concept Toyota built a few years ago, but it does actually work. And the stats Toyota is aiming for with its first production cars using solid state batteries are very impressive. Toyota reckons the first cars should come with around 435 miles of range. Now that's right up there with flagship models like the Mercedes EQS. That car has a huge lithium ion battery and comes with more than 450 miles of claimed range. Although when I range tested that car, I got a very different and lower figure. And if you want to see exactly what that figure was, click on the pop-out banner appearing now in the top right-hand corner of the screen to watch the video. Anyway, range isn't everything because Toyota's new technology should absolutely destroy the Mercedes when it comes to charging speeds. The EQS has such a long range because it has a huge 108 kilowatt hour battery, but that massive battery takes an age to charge. A full charge from empty takes almost half a day using an 11 kilowatt wall box. And charging it from 10% to 80% takes about 30 minutes using a fast 200 kilowatt DC charger, if you can find one available. Toyota says its solid state batteries can charge from empty to full in as little as 10 minutes. And Toyota is planning to be one of the first companies to put this technology into production by the mid 2020s. So what car will this new Toyota actually be? Well, it might not be a Toyota at all, but instead, a Lexus. It's no secret that Toyota and Lexus are working on a whole fleet of brand new cars. And Toyota has just confirmed during its 2023 financial results presentation that at least eight of these cars will arrive before 2026. There'll be two luxury cars, three SUVs, a compact car, a pickup truck, and a sports car. It also confirmed that it will reveal some new concepts based on next generation platforms at the Japan Mobility Show in autumn 2023. And in case you're wondering, that's the new name for the Tokyo Motor Show. Now this little teaser reveals that one of these cars will probably be a posh Lexus saloon car, but don't expect these new cars to come with futuristic solid state batteries just yet. Solid state batteries have the potential to cost less than lithium ion batteries, but the technology is still so very new that they actually cost a lot more to build right now. But Toyota has found a way around this. The people in charge of its propulsion systems and its research institute confirmed the first production car to get a solid state battery will actually be a hybrid. Hybrid cars have smaller batteries than pure EVs that cost less to make. This is because their electric motors can get help from the internal combustion engine to recharge the battery on the move, or they can help drive the wheels directly. This means Toyota can help get solid state batteries on the road without spending loads of cash building large battery packs for pure EVs. But what hybrid cars are they talking about? Well, besides sports cars like the GR Yaris and the Supra, most Toyotas are pure EVs or hybrids. So this new car could be anything from an updated version of the new Prius to an all new RAV4 SUV. But there is one pure EV that Toyota confirmed will definitely come with new solid state batteries. And it's a replacement for the Lexus LFA. That's right, people, the legendary LFA is coming back. And it'll look like this stunning electrified sports concept. Okay, so it won't have a screaming, naturally aspirated V10 engine like the original, but this new version is still going to be one of the most exciting new cars of the forthcoming decade. The head of Lexus's electrified program, Mr. Watanabe, recently confirmed his team is working on a production car, and Lexus has previously said it should accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in around two seconds. That's pretty much as quick as a Tesla Model S Plaid. There's another area where the Lexus should have the edge over the Tesla, and that's its 
weight. The lighter solid state batteries Toyota is working on should make this new car handle better and be even more fun to drive than today's EVs with their heavy lithium ion batteries. But that isn't the coolest thing about this new LFA. Mr. Watanabe said the production version of the electrified sports concept could come with a manual gearbox. What? Even the original LFA didn't get one of those. What on earth is Lexus thinking? Well, it isn't a manual gearbox in the traditional sense. After all, electric motors produce most of their torque from zero revs, so they don't really need a gearbox to help you accelerate quickly. You can use a gearbox in an electric car though to boost your top speed and reduce energy consumption when you're cruising. That's what the two-speed gearboxes in the Porsche Taycan and Audi RS e-tron GT are for. But that isn't what Mr. Watanabe is thinking about. His team isn't building a gearbox to make the car faster or more efficient. They're just building it to make the car more fun. Just check out this UX300e prototype his team has built. You drive it exactly like a manual car. It even has a simulated clutch and you can stall it if you don't give it enough gas. Uh, or should that be electricity when you pull away. Anyway, it all sounds a little bit daft, but there is something I really like about it. This teaser shows the prototype has selectable drive modes that adjust the torque delivery of the electric motors. Why? Well, it's to make the car feel like it has different internal combustion engines. There's a setting for an inline four-cylinder engine and another for a V8. So you can imagine what the production version of this electrified sport concept would be like. Though I'm not sure if you have access to a V8, why you would ever drive a four cylinder, apart from efficiency. Ah, maybe I've just answered my own question. Anyway, with this car, Lexus will have to give it a setting to mirror the insane power delivery of the LFA's legendary V10. If Toyota and Lexus can pull this off, they could be about to make some of the most exciting and most fun electric cars ever made. And I can't wait to drive them. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you want to watch some more videos, I've picked a couple out for you there. I think you'll like it. Just click on those windows to watch them. Or if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You can do that just by hitting the Carwell logo there. Simple.